you don't belong here, how Andrew lost everything. Andrew always knew he was different. From a young age, he had always felt out of place, like he didn't quite fit in with the other kids. While they were content playing sports and hanging out with friends, Andrew much preferred to spend his time reading, tinkering with electronics, and daydreaming about the wonders of the world. As he got older, the divide only seemed to grow. While his peers were focused on dating, partying, and planning for their futures, Andrew remained on the fringes, unsure of where he belonged. He tried to force himself to conform, to be normal, but it never felt right. He was always the odd one out, the one who didn't quite belong. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Things came to a head when Andrew was 25 years old. He had been living at home with his parents, working a dead-end job that he hated, and feeling increasingly lost and directionless. One night, after a particularly heated argument with his father about his lack of ambition, Andrew's father delivered an ultimatum, shape up and get your life together, or get out. Andrew was devastated. This was the only home he had ever known, the only place where he felt even remotely comfortable. But he could see the disappointment and frustration in his father's eyes, and he knew deep down that he couldn't stay. So with a heavy heart, he packed up what little he had and walked out the door, unsure of where he would go or what he would do. For the first few weeks, Andrew felt utterly lost. He bounced around from one cheap motel to the next, scraping together whatever odd jobs he could find to pay for food and a roof over his head. He missed the comfort and security of his childhood home, the familiar smells and sounds that had always brought him a sense of peace. Now, he felt adrift, alone in a world that seemed to have no place for someone like him. But as the days turned into weeks, something began to shift within Andrew. Perhaps it was the sheer desperation of his situation, or maybe it was a newfound determination to prove his father wrong. Whatever it was, he started to feel a spark of something he hadn't experienced in a long time, hope. He began to explore the city, venturing into neighborhoods he had never visited before. And as he did, he started to notice something remarkable, there were others like him. People who didn't fit the mold, who marched to the beat of their own drum. Artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, all of them searching for a place to call home. Emboldened by this discovery, Andrew began to put himself out there. He started volunteering at a local community center, where he discovered a passion for teaching kids about technology and engineering. He joined a meetup group for aspiring writers, where he found kindred spirits who understood his love of storytelling. And slowly but surely, he began to build a new life for himself, one that was tailored to his unique interests and talents. It wasn't always easy, of course. There were still moments of doubt and loneliness, times when he missed the familiarity of his childhood home. But Andrew had learned a valuable lesson, you don't have to belong to a place to find a sense of belonging. Sometimes, you have to create your own community, your own tribe. And that's exactly what he did. Over the next few years, Andrew's network of friends and collaborators grew, and he began to pour his heart and soul into his passions. He started a small tech consulting business, working with local startups and nonprofits to help them solve their biggest challenges. He joined a writer's collective, where he honed his craft and even had a few stories published in local magazines. And he became a regular fixture at community events, sharing his knowledge and inspiring others who felt as lost and adrift as he once had. Through it all, Andrew never forgot the lessons he had learned on that fateful night when he was kicked out of his childhood home. He knew that he had been given a second chance, a opportunity to forge his own path in a world that had once seemed so daunting and unwelcoming. And he was determined to make the most of it. Today, at the age of 32, Andrew is living a life that he could scarcely have imagined all those years ago. He has a thriving business, a close-knit circle of friends, and a sense of purpose that he never thought possible. And while he still misses the comforts of his childhood home, he knows that he has found something even more valuable, a sense of belonging, a place where he truly feels at home. So to anyone out there who feels like they don't belong, who is struggling to find their place in the world, Andrew has this message, don't give up. Keep searching, keep exploring, keep putting yourself out there. Because the world is a big, beautiful place, and there is a space for everyone, you just have to be willing to create it for yourself.